The volcanic explosivity index is a relative measure of the explosiveness of volcanic eruptions. It was devised by Chris Newhall of the United States Geological Survey and Stephen Self at the University of Hawaii in 1982. Volume of products, eruption cloud height, and qualitative observations are used to determine the explosivity value. The scale is open-ended with the largest volcanoes in history given magnitude date. A value of zero is given for non-explosive eruptions, defined as less than 10,000 cubic meters of tephra ejected, and eight representing a megacolossal explosive eruption that can eject 1.0 times 1,012 cubic meters of tephra and have a cloud column height of over 20 kilometers. The scale is logarithmic, with each interval on the scale representing a tenfold increase in a observed ejector criteria, with the exception of between VEI0, VEI1 and VEI2. Classification. With indices running from 0 to 8, the VEI associated with an eruption is dependent on how much volcanic material is thrown out, to what height, and how long the eruption lasts. The scale is logarithmic from VEI 2 and up. An increase of one index indicates an eruption that is 10 times as powerful. As such there is a discontinuity in the definition of the VEI between indices 1 and 2. The lower border of the volume of ejector jumps by a factor of 100 from 10,000 to 1 million cubic meters while the factor is 10 between all higher indices. In the following table, the frequency of each VEI indicates the approximate frequency of new eruptions of that VEI higher. A total of 47 eruptions of VEI 8 magnitude or above, ranging in age from Ordovician to Pleistocene, have been identified, of which 42 occurred in the past. Past 36 million years. The most recent is Lake Taupozero Anui eruption, 26,500 years ago, which means that there have not been any Holocene eruptions with a VEI of 8. There have been at least five identified Holocene eruptions with a VEI of 7. There are also 58 Plinian eruptions, and 13 caldera-forming eruptions, of large but unknown magnitudes. There are likely many other eruptions that are not identified. By 2010, the Global Volcanism Program of the Smithsonian Institution had catalogued the assignment of a VEI for 7,742 volcanic eruptions that occurred during the Holocene, which account for about 75% of eruptions known to have occurred during the Holocene. About 90% of these 7,742 eruptions have a VEI of 3 or less. About 49% of these 7,742 eruptions have a VEI of 2. Limitations of VEI under the VEI, ash, lava, lava bombs and ignimbrite are all treated alike. Density and vesicularity of the volcanic products in question is not taken into account. In contrast, the DRE is sometimes calculated to give the actual amount of magma erupted. Another weakness of the VEI is that it does not take into account the power output of an eruption, which makes the VEI extremely difficult to determine with prior historic or unobserved eruptions. Although VEI is quite suitable for classifying the explosive magnitude of eruptions, the index is not as significant as sulfur dioxide emissions in quantifying their atmospheric and climatic impact. As a 2004 paper by Georgina Miles, Roy Granger and Eleanor Highwood points out, tephra or fallout sediment analysis can provide an estimate of the explosiveness of a known eruption event. It is, however, not obviously related to the amount of SO2 
that were emitted by the eruption. The volcanic explosivity index was derived to catalog the explosive magnitude of historical eruptions, based on the order of magnitude of erupted mass, and gives a general indication as to the height the eruptive column reached. The VEI itself is inadequate for describing the atmospheric effects of volcanic eruptions. This is clearly demonstrated by two eruptions, Agung and El Chishon. The VEI classification separates them by an order of magnitude in explosivity. Although the volume of SO2 released into the stratosphere by each was measured to be broadly similar, as shown by the optical depth data for the two eruptions. Quote, Lists of large eruptions. List of large volcanic eruptions of the 19th century. List of large volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. List of large volcanic eruptions in the 21st century. Timeline of volcanism on Earth. List of large volcanic eruptions. List of largest volcanic eruptions.